Hello everyone. My name is Erin Jepsen, and I have autism. That sounds like I am introducing myself at a group addiction therapy session, doesn't it? Autistics Anonymous. It has a nice win. I'm kidding. I'm not really planning a new self-help program. But Vanim does introduce well what I want to talk about today. By way of background. I was diagnosed with autism when I was three. And that label has followed me, even defined me ever since. I am frequently introduced even by my parents with something like this. And this is our son Aaron. He has autism. Does that sound familiar to any of you? I understand why they do it. It's not to make me feel bad. It is to set expectations about how the rest of that interaction is going to go. That simple add-on tells the people that I am not a typical 25-year-old. So don't expect a typical reciprocal conversation about the weather or what I do for a living. It definitely relieves me of any pressure to conform in a way that I really can't. But it also relieves the obligation of false that I am meeting to engage any further with me. People simply don't know what to do at that point. That is when I become anonymous. Invisible. I have read more accurately, listened to my parents read all the Harry Potter books. It is a clever story and I love all the magical creations. As fans know, Harry frequently relies on an inherited cloak that makes him invisible if he is beneath it. This invisibility cloak got him out of many binds. I wish that for invisibility cloak of autism was as useful. The problem is that the autism version only hides our intelligence and capacity, while at the same time it magnifies the negative characteristics of a disability. 
In all four words, when people see me, they immediately notice my stamina, my trouble making eye contact, my agoraphobia, and my complete lack of social skills. These things completely overshadow the fact that. I am pretty smart. Have now written two books. Have my own autism advocacy blog. Have run five marathons. And climb eleven different fourteen thousand foot mountain peaks. My talents are invisible to most people who meet me in person because of the mistaken preconceptions of what autism actually is. There seems to be a disconnect in people's view of the various ends of the autism spectrum. On the higher functioning end, the public is aware and even celebrates the quirky geniuses. Who are the brilliant engineers or scientists who have trouble engaging in small talk, or are super awkward at parties? I am not at all trying to downplay the challenges. That both individuals face. I am sure they are difficult as well. But at my end of the spectrum, we face a different stereotype. The hardest thing for me was that all four. I have normal intelligence. No one believe it or recognize it because I didn't have the mechanism to express it. Most educators, therapists, and peers assume that nonverbal or partially verbal. Kids are intellectually disabled. I can attest that I was treated that way. I was not taught age level material at any point in public school. For my brain was capable. Of absorbing most of it, fear for my true self was invisible to my teachers. My parents did read me age level books, and that is how I actually learned. I started learning how to type my thoughts at about age fifteen, and that is when my invisibility cloak began to slip. My parents immediately saw me and helped me. Continue to emerge. 
I started asking questions, both practical and philosophical. I started writing about my experiences. I started advocating for change and acceptance of our strengths and capacities. I started believing in myself and testing my limits. My life is now very different. Not from the outside but on the inside. I am still an invisible man to those who meet me for the first time and sadly to many that have known me for years. But it doesn't bother me as much because now I know what I can bring to the societal table. I know that some people are being influenced in a positive way by what I write and how I think. I can now live my life filled with hope despite my struggles. So I want to conclude this lecture with a list of things that we can do to dig for anonymous away from autism. First, a few things for those around us that are neurotypical. Number 10. Autism is not an intellectual disability even in those whose speech is delayed or absent. I can't make my body process and express my deeper thoughts but on the inside I am perfectly intact intellectually. Number 9. People with autism can hear and understand when you talk about us. Be careful about what you say. Don't say things around us that you would never say to someone else to fear face. Number 8. Help us find our talent and give us every opportunity to express it at whatever level we are capable of. Quit focusing on our weaknesses and let us enlarge our strength. Not everyone has to be capable in everything. Let us be more capable in our thing. Now to my neurodiverse friends. Number seven. If you find your thing, share it. Don't hold back because it might not be as good as others. You are good enough to inspire someone else and make their lives a little bit brighter. 
on your light. Number six. When someone else in our neurodivergent community does something cool, celebrate them. We are all in this together, and it takes all of us to break down the barriers. Number five. Remember to be thankful. Although our lives can be challenging, there are so many people that are trying to help us and are giving us their all. Don't forget their sacrifices. Number four. Be healthy. Go outside. Get fresh air. Feel the sun. Move your bodies. Number three. Love yourself wherever you are. Try not to get too discouraged. By the thing that you see, your neurotypical peers doing that you think would make you happy. A lot of them are struggling too. Number two, make the most of every day. Set little goals and celebrate when you achieve them. Number one, this is most important. Don't ever give up. You are important. You are needed. You can. Impact for world, even if it is a small corner of it. To all of you listening who feel invisible or anonymous, I hope that my words will reach you the most. You are my friends. I may not know you in person, but know this: I see you, and I will be watching for the impacts that you will make. That will. Create a better, brighter, and more inclusive world. Thank you.